Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how can we do JDBC setup with MySQL in Eclipse ID using Maven. So for that we are in the Eclipse ID. So now right click on this and go to new then go to others. In the others we can see here we can search for MAV and Maven and here we go maven project then select it then click on next after clicking on next then click on next and here in the catalog search for internal and internally search for this quick start here you can also write q u i c k quick start here we can go then select it then click on next it will take some time then this is a group id and this is package you have to write this i have already used this that's why i am getting this suggestion so you have to write here a package and the artifact id means the project name so our project name will be mysql jdbc project let me take here a package com dot idiot dot jdbc then click on finish so our maven project is created here we can see mysql jdbc project in that mysql for jdbc project you can see pom dot xml click on this pom dot xml this is important find pom dot xml then here we will add the dependency that is jar file so for that jar file what you have to do go to the browser and go to the maven repository.com then clear search for mysql connector j so i have already opened this mysql connector j i will give the link of this uh, site in the description from there you will go here and uh, here you can see mysql connector j and at the bottom we can see this is dependency then copy this after copying this go to here in pom.xml here you can see dependency J unit dependency below this we have to paste whatever we have done that mysql this is our dependency mysql jar file so control shift f so here we can see control shift f for this formatting then we can see our dependency is added then save this so form.xml work is done now what we will do we will go here in the src main java in this our package is com.idiot.jdbc and here we will create one class to generate a connection to see whether the jar file is added or not so click on class mysql jdbc this is our class then click on finish so for this here we will first of all what we will write yum and main so here i have written the one jdbc code in our class so connection con equal to driver manager dot get connection so here we are using my mysql so this is jdbc url jdbc colon mysql colon triple slash new new is our schema name so i am using here a mysql workbench this is our mysql workbench and this is my schema is new then in this schema well, i have this uh, table called login in this login table in this login table we have this uh, data username and password here you can see username john and password is john username john and password is john you can also create a table in the mysql workbench this is our schema name if you want to see how to create a schema and table you can watch my other video but now here i have already created this table and this is our data now for connection of this table here connection con equal to driver manager dot gate connection jdbc colon mysql colon triple slash new new is our schema name if you have different schema name you can take it then this is username and this is password so at the time of mysql installation whatever username and password you have given that is this then I am using a statement st is equal to con dot create statement and for fetching the data I am using here a select query select star from login 
login is our table name here we can see the table name is login and the data is here so this is result set result set rs equal to s2 dot execute query this will execute query and whatever data is stored in rs so rs dot next and here we will print system dot order print ln rs dot get string one and rs dot get string two then connection close and this is error if we get any error so this is it and here we will not uh, require to load the our jar file because from jdbc4 there is no need to load the jar file and uh, you are we are using the maven that's why there is no need to add the jar file automatically by mentioning this uh, what dependency here writing this the jar file will come automatically in the maven dependency you can see mysql connector java so this is the use of maven after adding this dependency it will take some time to download and here you can see in the maven dependencies mysql jar file is coming so no need to download this and add to class path so this is use of what maven so now we have created let's see if the or jar file is added now let me what right click on this then run as java application so it will take some time and here we can see the data is coming john and john and sam and sam as the table we have done here the data username and password john and john and sam and sam so that means the jar file is added successfully that's why this programming running so in this way we can uh, use my one for jdbc and mysql java and mysql connection